you know, this episode is called Open Doors Part One, Baby Names. I am the host of Difficult People Chronicles. I'm Seriously Focused Johnny, SF Johnny. And uh, thank you for tuning in. So as y'all know, I'm on vacation. So I'm doing a few videos because <laughs> I just, yeah, tired. Feeling a little lazy. I've been up praying. I'm on a spiritual retreat. I've been up praying like around the clock. <laughs> so I'm just right now feeling a little lazy and tired. Oh, so after this video, I'm going to go eat breakfast. <laughs> okay, so uh, <clears throat> I was this, you know, what, what, what's, mm, what's so crazy, not crazy, what's interesting is that I sit down with myself a lot. And in the past, when even when I was going through my phase of depression, I used to sit down in deep thought. And just think about things and think about other people's situations. And I don't recall ever being jealous of other people. I'm going to say that. I was just always thinking about why. Like, why is this happening to me? What is going down? Observing, you know, even in my younger years. And one of the things that shock me now is there's certain rules regulations well rules and beliefs that I had back then that I still hold to now and even though I didn't read the bible as much but I read through I would read the psalms because that was the only book I would you know, my mom's always talked about Psalms. Psalms one, uh, 107, Psalms this, Psalms that. You know, when I was going through certain things, she, Psalms. But the first book that I read through was Proverbs. You know, and now I'm venturing in other areas. And I'm seeing that. The beliefs I had is in the Bible. So I'm going to tell you about a situation that happened years ago. There was a woman who is a friend of mine who was pregnant. And her husband, her husband left her to come up with uh, a baby name. Before she had the baby, she, when she was pregnant, like, oh, you know, she said to me, she came up with this baby name. <laughs> and I was just like, I was always like, what does it mean? So I Googled it and I was just like, oh, and I, it, it the, the name was darkness, like, uh, dark something darkness but that's that was the meaning meaning <laughs> and i said to her you can't name your child that you insane like i feel like a person's name is everything where anything can happen you know success or failure happiness or sadness and depression uh Positive energy or negative energy. And and that's what I said to her. I said, a name is, is everything. So she... <sighs> um, sorry. <sighs> she was like, no. Um, I don't believe that. You know, all this other stuff. And she went to her husband with this name. And he was just like, you know, he, he, I felt like he wasn't, he didn't really like the name too much, but he was okay with it. And then, and what I said was, no, you have to love it. It has to be a name you love that you really love, you know, 
And she was stuck on this name. And what she did was she took, <laughs> let's say, a name like Satan. She took the S off and it was Aiden. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, no, definitely no. So when I found I was like, no, 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 no. And she was stuck on it. And, and what I said to her is, I don't wish bad on nobody's kids. I just don't. But what if the child is born and failure, ill health, uh, all sorts of negatives follow behind this child because of their name? You did that. Like, you opened the door for all this to happen. And I said, the enemy, Satan, he looks for open doors so he could just bring in the minions to party. Yeah. And they just chill and they don't want to leave. And it's like a fight. To, to get them to leave. And you have to go to the courts of heaven. To get these demons. Out of your place. And that's how it works. And then she was like. Okay fine. <laughs> so now the baby's born. And she, she gave it a good name. Thank God. Um, as part of established covenant. With Abraham. The Lord gave him a new name. Because if you go to Genesis chapter 17, Abraham's name was originally uh, uh, Abram. Yeah. It was originally Abram. So, yeah. Proverbs 22 1. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches and favor is better than silver and gold. Let's talk about some, let me talk about some demonic things. Demon. Not Damon. Not Dennis. Demon. And I was watching something where, because <laughs> you know I like to watch a lot of cases. Uh, ill will starts to follow behind people and because of their name and and Satan looks for a, a, a open door and then before long when a door opens he goes and tries to create other open doors so before long there's so many demons inside a person. Lesions. <laughs> a lesion is created. You know. uh, <clears throat> Lilith. I, I, I feel. I can't recall. But I feel like I knew somebody named Lilith. Uh, An older white lady. With white hair. And. I, I can't recall. But I feel. Feel like I, I remember her or something like years ago where she was going through a lot of hardship in her younger years. Her name was Lilith. <laughs> you gotta read through um, Genesis with Adam and Eve and Lilith. A lot of people didn't pick up on that, but I did some research and that's a whole nother episode. But Lilith is, uh, if I'm correct, I feel like Lilith is a spiritual spouse or something like that. Or an evil spirit marriage or something. Lilith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blah. <laughs> some people just... They, they they add hyphens, accents, dashes. Pronounce it different 
and make it seem like it's different, but it's spelled the same. You got to be careful. Names spell exactly like demonic names with hyphens and letters of silent is no different from the demonic name. It's still the demonic name. It's no matter how you want to look at it. Names originally derived from demonic names to begin with, but have a twist. Like how, for example, I said Satan and then a person, a person could drop off the S and name their child Aiden. They knew the original name was Satan. You know, some people knew. Some, some. Because you have some people that will take a, a, a evil name and, and, it's kind of like a root word. Where did the original come from? And that's how you got to look at it. And some of these parents know. Another one, Jezebel. <laughs> a person dropping off the L and adding an E. And then calling a child Jezebel. <laughs> yeah. You got to be careful what you name your kids. Names, and this is another one. You have names that are cursed through the generation before a child was born. Because a hater that a parent knew was a hater way before the child was born to name a child. And then that name becomes cursed because, you know, you, 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 you have a hater that's really an enemy that helps name a child. And then the child is born and that child grows up to an adult and can't figure out why they got so much craziness going on in their life. And then you have a family name that seems to be cursed straight down through the bloodline. But you feel like something is wrong, can't identify. And for some strange reason, it's not a strange reason. You just have a lot of families that don't want to talk about things they did, involvements. Let me tell you something real quick. I remember... I had a friend, her mother, and, th and this seems to be normal in certain uh, cultures or I don't know how you want to call it, but I remember I was young. Was I in high school? Was I in college? Was I in junior? I don't know where I was. I, I don't know where I was on the, on the spectrum. I could have been in high school. And I was hanging out with a friend of mine. She was older. And I remember sitting there and her mother literally <sighs> talked about what she did when she was a kid. And, and the reason why I'm looking like that is because I'm going to have something to say after the story. So her father had 20 kids. In the Virgin Islands, he had 20, 20, two zero. And he would sleep with the maids. And her mother was a maid. And her mother started laughing. Like, no type of remorse. She laughed at what she did. She said that she, when the wife would go to work or go to drop off the kids somewhere or go do something, she was busy sleeping with the woman's husband. And she was laughing. And I was young at the time. And I thought it was just strange. Like I couldn't laugh. And I'm just like. How can you like. And she was laughing like. The giggling was serious. And she gave a, a visual. Of. What she would do. Like. She said that. So, so what I, she's telling me the story 
my friend is sitting there, her daughter. <clears throat> her back is turned, but you can see her face is straight. So she's literally trying to ignore what is being said. And I saw all white for some reason. While she was talking to me, I saw all white. I saw, and, and maybe it's because I saw the picture of a... Uh, <laughs> Don't, don't mind me. I saw a picture of Al Green and there's a there's an album cover with Al Green having all white on with the, the white wicker chair in the background and all this other stuff. So I'm kind of picturing uh, my friend's father sitting in this chair for some reason, like he has arrived. And that's what I saw in my, in my, you know, I saw him sitting in this chair with like maybe a toothpick in his mouth with his leg crossed, you know, one leg over the other. And he's like picking his tooth, like, you know, watching these people, like trying to figure out who's his next, who's his next victim, who he going to sleep with. And, and that's what I saw. And I was young then. And she's telling me the story. And then I saw her going into another house with, plates a head wrap a white head wrap she's dressed all in white and she's going to fill up these plates and then she she looks back out to see the wife leaving and then when the wife leaves she drops the plates put them down and then goes back inside to go be with this man and as she's telling me the story, she's giggling and I'm looking like, you know, cause, cause, cause I'm, I'm, I can't like really put a picture to, I, I don't know. My face expression was off. I know that, but she was giggling. She like tickled giggling, crying and wiping her eyes and a ha ha ha. And I just I'm like, yo, who does that? Like that was cool, and then uh, and that's when I said to myself, like at a young age, like you can't stop a man from cheating. <laughs> you can't. You just can't. Only God can stop a man from cheating, and that's why when people cheat, you go to God in prayer. Cause trust and believe. When God, when you call on God about your situation. <laughs> that man gonna wish he never did what he did. Mm -hmm. But that man made 20 kids. I don't even think he became a father to two because <laughs> he had so many. And it was crazy. And he had maids in the house. He had maids. He had, a, he had maids and he slept with these maids and these maids got pregnant and he made 20 kids. And if I'm correct, her youngest brother was younger mm -hmm. than me. So even in his old age, he was still making all these kids. It, I, I don't know. And, and I used to say growing up, I used to say that a lot of them didn't have TV. And or maybe it was in the lemonade. And this is why they did what they did. This was just my whole thought pattern. Like, this was entertainment for them. It's crazy. Um, yeah. And, and because of what took place, I feel now, at this stage of the game, now that I'm older, did a lot of research, did a lot of case studying and all this other stuff in, you know, Bible school and all this other stuff. And I mean, seminary school and all this other stuff and studying spiritual warfare and everything that that's one of the reasons why her relationship, her relationships happened the way it did. Sins of the mother and father fall down to the fourth or fifth generation. I, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I felt like her mother still was 
in love with this man. It was like, you know, some people, uh, some people, um, cheating is a thrill for them. It's a thrill. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of thrill. The whole creeping, cheating is a thrill. So, yeah. And then behind all of that, she has his last name. Uh, and she's not the only child going through it. Because at the time, she kept in contact with, God, I don't even know. I wouldn't even say 14. I would say, let's chop it down to like seven. Seven of her brothers and sisters. And some were married going through it. Like virgin divorce. Um, one was engaged till eternity. And then when he decided to get married, it didn't work out. Yeah. Pay attention to the names. A lot of names have history behind it. A lot of things going on. So that's it for today. Um, for more sign up for a session, email me, go to my website, suggested topics, put in subject box topic, check out my store, check me out on YouTube, like, subscribe, click the notification. Uh, just so everybody know, um, the podcast is linked to YouTube. So it goes directly to YouTube for the audio. That's for people that prefer, uh, YouTube more than anything yeah i'm gonna try to do different videos on youtube when i get a chance uh yeah because i started but there's some there's a few there's few videos on youtube that's not part of my podcast but just to let everybody know the podcast links to youtube i logged on to youtube late in life i was just like i can't do all i can't do everything I just can't. Like, I have a lot of responsibility and things to take care of in my life. Mm -hmm. And I know what God wants me to do. So I don't want to rush things, but I do try to get it done. That's just how I am. So that's it for today, y'all. Love me. I love you more. Work on yourself. Sign up for a session if you choose to. And have a blessed one. Later.